Hi, just a quick video. I'm going to uh, remove my Sunny Boy inverter that's been up here for over a decade now. Been a solid performer. Um, and so I'm going to take it off because I'm uh, going to install the new DI uh, inverter soon. So I um, <laughs> just, well, I've taken the screws off, but I haven't taken this panel off yet. I just uh, tweeted about this the other day. I tried to actually get these six screws here and none of my metric uh, screws work. They're not Torx and I thought they look like hex. Um, but I had to go get my uh, set of finer ones from the lab because I didn't have an M2.5 at home. So, um, yeah, who uses M2.5 on here? Crazy. Anyway, um, let's, uh, well, they've got a, this is the um, uh, disconnect th thing. There you go. That's the, uh, that's the disconnect plug for it. Don't think I've ever taken that out, have I? Anyway, it, there is a bracket up here, I believe it just lifts off. Um, I've turned off the AC, the DC is physically chopped off. Um, so we've got the new ones hanging up there. So, oh, hang on, maybe I didn't unscrew that one enough. And I will do a teardown video of this, hopefully. Is that gonna come up? Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go, that's not too shabby. There's the, uh, the front panel, it's got that uh, knock sensor, so there's like an accelerometer in there because you knock on it um, and it changes uh, modes, a very nice uh, user interface. By the way, it says having to have like external uh, buttons. So yeah, um, so that's really good. So let's, let's have a look inside here. Of course, everything's, uh, everything's switched off, but it's switched off uh, here and it's switched, uh, this is the AC side, switched off here and the other side, but uh, yeah, there's nothing there whatsoever there's nothing doing so it's all good and we're ready to take it off but I can show you up close here here you go for those playing log at home uh, what do we got we got uh, yeah there's our solar uh, input there it does have a uh, second uh, string which I've never actually uh, used oh I didn't know that check it out the conduit in there conduit in there is open at the top where the DC cable comes out. Now, I reckon the water can probably get, if the water comes down the wall, you know, it bounces off and runs down the wall, that could actually get into that conduit. That should be sh sh um, sealed there, I would have thought. Anyway, uh, these are nice. Oh, are these just uh, thumb flippy? Are these just finger flippy things for the um, um, AC mains coming in? Let's try it. Wow, look at that. And can I just pull that out? Hang on. No, they don't go up any further. But, well, they're not pulling out. I would have thought you'd just pull those out. Do you have to go up further? It doesn't. Ah, right, yeah, yes, yes. You do actually have to physically pull them up further. So that's a real, uh, that's a really nice interface. I like that. So I pull that up, go like that. Pull that up, go like that. Just didn't feel like it at first. So there you go. There's our uh, mains cable. We can undo our conduit here. And yeah, that just pulls out, no worries. Still, still looks like a bought one. I mean, all the interface there is a little bit of uh, doodad spider cobwebby stuff in there. Dad, dead daddy long legs down there because they can just crawl through the uh, back there. But um, no, that is surprisingly clean. I like it. So let's try and get this thing physically off and see what happens, shall we? Oh, hang on. I've got the uh, MC4 connector here. There we go. Just slide. There we go. Got those out. Get those out of there. And I think it's just going to lift off. Um, that's my plan anyway. So I'll move it back. Let's have a squiz. Okay, let's have a go. Uh, what's this thing going to weigh? 15 kilo or something? Yep. Yep. And yeah, I was about right in the weight. Ta da! There's the bracket. Big solid. I haven't seen this since it was installed, big heatsink. There you go, big bracket. I'll uh, spare you the details. Oh, uh, oh, they put a plug down here and they didn't use it. They drilled it offset. 
<laughs> so, oops. Um, anyway, three big bolts up there. No worries. So, oh, spare you the details. Anyway, check it out. You can see and it's uh, still all in very good nick. Let's get over here. There's the back of it with all the uh, heat sink. So that is one big solid die cast jobby, unlike that uh, DI one, which was multiple pieces. Wow, and it's quite, uh, it's quite slim line. So yeah, I haven't had that down in a decade. It still works, an absolute treat. The um, markers, <laughs> the permanent markers there have worn off. They did write down what the uh, open circuit voltage and current and short circuit current was there, but that's all faded away. But yeah, still in great nick. Get another 15 years out of that. No worries.